What's up guys, it's Tech with Kirill here. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make your Windows 11 look just like Mac OS. So now, the first thing what we want to do is create a restore point. Now this is optional, but um, this will, in case you want to go back, this will let you go back with ease, you know, not having to manually uninstall everything. So what you want to do is go to create a restore point. Click on this, open. Brings you to this. What you want to do is if it says protection off, click on configure and select turn on system protection. So now that that's over with, I want to click create. This is going to create a restore point for you. So now you can title it anything you want. I'm going to call it go back to Windows 11 after looking like Mac OS. It doesn't need to be that long. So now it's going to create a little restore point, creating, 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 it should be ready, there you go. So close out all this. Now we can get into the actual steps. First step is on your desktop, you want to right click and then click view and show desktop icons. This will just hide all your desktop icons. If you want to go back to them, just click view and click show desktop icons. All you need to do if you want to go back. So now, now that you hit them. We're going to go to Docs. I have a link in the description called Windows 11 look like Mac. So yeah, I'll put this in the description, but yeah. So we first need to go to the SecureX link. So click on it and then click on this link right here. And there you go. Now you want to click on themetool.exe and that downloads it. So now we can minimize this browser then open the file explorer and go to the download section and you'll see this theme tool you want to take it drag it and put it into windows c now click continue now it'll be in your windows c drive so now next thing you want to do right click run as administrator and then click yes it brings you to this license just select yes and here you are now you're in this what you want to do is go to the right where it says installation select hook system settings hook logon ui and keep this the same now click install so once you click yes it will restart your system so i will see you back once i restart all right guys we're back so now the next step is going to be installing the themes. So now you want to go to the dock and you see there's two things called bib3 and lit3. So I'm going to open up these two. First we're going to go to the bib3. It says bib3 for Windows 11. You're just going to want to scroll all the way down until it says download free. Click that. It makes you wait five seconds. Let that happen and then just click don't recommend and as you can see it's downloading now we want to go to the lit 3 windows 11 theme scroll down download free wait a couple seconds and don't recommend so i'm going to pause the video and i'll get back once these install all right guys we're back we had both of these things extra um downloaded so now we want to go back into File Explorer and Downloads page. So you just minimize this. Let me close out this tab. Minimize and here. So here we have these two. Sorry, I gotta make sure it's recording. All right, yeah. So we have these two themes. You can see we just click Extract All. So we do that one at a time. So Extract All extract should become right below it perfect there's the first one and extract all okay so they're both of them extracted now here we can just remove these two zip files because we already have the contents right here so now Right click on this and click open a new window. So right click on your C drive. 
So now you see we have our C drive here. We're going to make this a bit smaller. We can do split screen here. So, so now when we know I want to open lit three, you know, it says lit three right here and open lit three. And now windows themes. Now what you want to do is hold down the control button on your keyboard and then select lit three, lit three Mac NA and lit three Mac. So now, we want to go to in here. We want to go to Windows. Scroll down until you see Resources. Where is it at? Resources, Themes, and as you can see here. So now we just drag these three into here, and we're just going to do Continue, Continue, and Continue. That's for all three items. <laughs> So now we're going to do the exact same three, for this exact same thing for the bib three. So now open up the other one, labeled bib three, do this Windows 10 plus 11 themes. So now go to dark mode only, not pure dark. Control, bib 3dm, bib 3dm Mac NA, and bib 3dm Mac. Drag these into themes, and then same thing three times one, two, three. Okay, now we can X out of this. Now click on Windows C, right click theme tool, run as administrator. Yes. Give me a second. So now we go. So now yes again. So we can X out of this. So now we're going to select all these th things right here, all the lit three and the bib three and patch them. So we're going to click patch. We're going to click patch. We'll click patch and patch. So now, now we want to apply a theme that we want. Personally, I like lit three the best. So that's what I'm going to use. That's what you're going to use, lit, lit 3, apply. Give it a second. It says, please wait, and look at that. We've already got, now we've got like the Mac looking thing here. So now, we X out of this. You can see we already have this ready. So, if you look at File Explorer, for example, you see we have these nice buttons. So now, next thing we want to go to is in the dock, you see this main folder. We're just gonna wanna click on this and then click save. Okay, so now we can minimize this, go into our file explorer, go into downloads. So now, as you can see, we can just remove these from the downloads folder. So now you wanna extract all and extract So, it's just transferring. This is a good time for me to tell you guys that I will be um, trying to upload more daily. I'm going to do more like, you know, Windows reviews and stuff like that. So, yeah. It's still transferring. It's not all, it's all, not all the way done yet. Just give it a second. It should be done soon. I'm going to pause, guys, and I'll come back once it is done. Okay, right, guys, we're back. So now, we see we have this folder here. going to open that, and then I'm going to open this. And here we go. This is kind of like the... I'm going to reference this as main folder, okay? So every time I say main folder, this is what I'm talking about. So now click on this. And you see, now we want to run this. 7 TSP GUI. So we're going to view in large icons this thing right here. 
and now we're going to click yes. And this is just this, and then click I have read the agreements, I agree. So we're just going to close this out. And now, click on add a custom pack. So now, we want to navigate to the main file, and then Give me a second. Okay, so yeah, we want to go to Windows and then Resources. I'm just gonna search. Okay, we're just gonna go to Windows. Sorry about this, guys. Windows. Search for Resources. Okay, you know what? This is my fault. Okay, add custom pack. Okay, okay, and then go to downloads. Go to this main folder. Sorry about this. And then go to the icon theme and select dark mode or light mode. I like dark mode, so I'm gonna go to the dark mode and click open. Prepares it. And now click start patching. So now this just tells you this. Your start point is enabled. It should be if you did that. Now click yes. So now just give it a second. I'm gonna pause it and once it comes back, I will show you guys. Okay guys, we're back. As you can see, it says, please reboot Windows 7 for the changes to take full effect. So we're gonna click yes. So I will see you guys back once it resets. All right guys, we're back. As you can see, it says system has been patched and we click okay. So now we're gonna go back to that Google doc we made. Go here, I'm blanking description for this. So now he says, it, you see it says start all back, click on it, and now scroll down and click download. It might be different when you're watching this, but for me, this is when it is. As you can see, start all back, run it, click install for me. Now you're going to have to follow these steps after this installs. Okay, here we go. So now we're going to select proper 11 and then go to the explore tab select win 7 command bar and then deselect mica effect on top and classic search box so now go to advanced and click use custom start menu coloring to change it to transparent so now we're gonna right click Lock the taskbar, click on that to deselect it, and then just click on it, hold, and then drag it to the top. Looking nice, isn't it? But it is not done yet. So now, um, so now we accept this, right click, properties, and then under icon size, select S. Now, Click X, go to the file manager. You're gonna have to use this top just for a little bit. It'll all be over soon. It'll make it look nice. So as you can see now, I can just go to this, the main folder, main folder again. Now go to this, cursors. Don't worry about move left slider. We don't need that. So go to cursors. Now there should be something called install right here, but we're just gonna click view large icons so you can see them install right click click install now click open yes now it should be installed we can x out of this minimize chrome right click personalize give the settings a second to load now go to themes Now click on mouse cursors, mouse cursor I mean. So now you can see we have a little drop down menu here. 
click on Windows default, but change it to Big Sur. Now click apply. Yes. Okay. Now you see we have like the Mac cursors. Now we can close out of settings and go back to File Explorer. Sorry, just making sure we're still recording. Videos, or not videos, sorry about that. Downloads. Here we go. Now go to Move Icons. You're probably going to see it like this. Just take this folder and move it here. Give it a second. Place files in the destination. There you go. Now click it. And you should see so now you click it and there we go so now go back to Chrome go back to the dock you see we have my dock finder right when you click on this it's gonna download it so as you can see this is gonna be the actual dock so yeah Give this a second to install, and then we're going to um, just put it into the C file, and then yeah. Okay, we're downloaded. We can minimize Google Chrome. We can actually X out of it because we don't need it anymore. And then go to this, and then downloads. In my dark finder, right click, extract all, and extract. This will be faster. It'll open, but what we want to do is X out this when it opens. And now just take the My Doc Finder folder, Windows C, drag it. And it should be there. Wait, just look for it. My Doc Finder and My Doc. Perfect. Go back to Downloads. Go back to the main folder. Go back to this. Now click on Move My Doc. Drag my dock into move here. Place files and destination. Now double click on move here. Now click on the my dock folder. We're going to view this. Large icons. Now go to the move my dock directory. So go here. Move my dock. Okay, hold on. So yeah, so go back here. Move my dock. There we go. Okay. Sorry guys. Just had to figure that out for a second. So go back into the Windows C drive. Click on My Dock Finder. My Dock. And we want to view this as large icons. So now... We we'll have this thing called My Doc. Double click. Now click More Info. Don't worry, this isn't this is not like some virus or something. This is trusted. And you can see, wow, looks good, doesn't it? Now we want to right click on this little divider here. Preferences. And now we are in the preferences of our doc. Already looks like looks good, doesn't it? So, what we want to do is go into Preferences. So that's where we are now. And we can select like our lighter dark theme. I want to do dark theme. So now go to Global Settings and select Auto Start at Boot. More info and run anyway. And yes. So now select. Yes, there you go, it's selected. So now this looks just like Mac OS. So yes, that is how you do it. And this is Tech with Kirill, and I will be seeing you next time.